Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, Happy New Year. I hope you guys have all enjoyed the holiday season. Since it's still cold outside, in this tutorial I decided to make a fleece lined puffer jacket for my baby girl. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, please stay tuned. Alright guys, let's get started. I'll be using one and a half yards of this fox print fleece, one and a half yards of this ripstop nylon, a pack of quilt batting, and a 14 inch separating zipper. For the pattern, I'll be using this long sleeve hooded tee. First, I fold it in half to the back and trace around the body. Then I fold it in half to the front and trace around the body. I take and lay the sleeve down and trace around. Then I fold the hood in half and trace around. For the front pattern, I add a half inch seam allowance all the way around, including the front opening, and this will be cut into two separate pieces. The back pattern will be cut into one on the fold. The sleeves will be cut twice on the fold and the hood will be cut into two separate pieces with the half inch seam allowance added to the front opening. Now I've cut the back piece, the two front pieces, the sleeves, and the two hood pieces onto the fabric. I've also cut the same pattern pieces for the fleece lining and the batting which include four layers for each piece. I take the back piece and the four layers of the batting and line them together. Then I take a ruler and a sharpie and starting from the center point of the neckline, I measure and mark at three inch points down the center. I trace horizontal lines straight across each three inch point. Then I sew a straight stitch across each line attaching the batting and the fabric together. Here's the back piece complete. I do the same for the front two pieces and the sleeves as well. The batting for the hood will be sewn on a little different. I measure three and a half inches down along the curve, then I trace and sew a straight stitch along those points. I also went ahead and attached the hood pieces together by lining them front facing in and sewing a straight stitch along the curve. I decided to add pockets, which is totally optional. You can skip this part if you want. I do have a pocket tutorial that I'll link in the card in the upper right hand corner and you can check out how I prepare my pockets in detail there. I placed the pocket pieces three inches from the bottom onto the back piece, front facing in. Then I lined them together with the other pocket pieces on both sides of both front jacket pieces. I sew them down with a straight stitch. After attaching the pockets, I line the back and the front two jacket pieces together front facing in and sew across the shoulders, then down around the pockets and down the sides with a straight stitch. I also take the sleeves, fold them over right side in and sew down the sides with a straight stitch. When all those pieces are sewn together, I cut the excess fabric off the seam allowance from the sleeves and turn them right side out. I line the seam of the sleeve and the underarm seam of the jacket and pin together right sides in. Then I line and pin the top half of the sleeve and the shoulder seam of the jacket together and continue pinning around the sleeve and armhole. Then I sew around with the straight stitch. I do the same for the other sleeve and armhole as well. 
Here's a jacket with both sleeves attached. I went ahead and sewed the lining together using the same steps as I did for the jacket, minus the pockets. So I just sewed straight down the sides. Next I take the zipper and separate both pieces. I take the left side of the zipper and flip it over right side facing down. Then I line the straight edge of the zipper on top of the straight edge of the left side opening of the front jacket and a half inch from the bottom and pin in place. Next I take the right side of the zipper and again I flip it over to the back and line the straight edge onto the opening a half inch from the bottom and pin in place on the right side. After pinning the zippers in place, I zip it up to double check the placement is correct and the zipper functions properly. When that's all checked out, I sew down the straight edge of both zippers with a straight stitch starting a half inch below the neckline. Here's the zipper attached to the outer jacket. And now I'm going to show you how I install and attach the lining to the zipper like I did for the other side. First I place the lining inside the jacket, front facing up. Then I take the sleeves of the lining and pull them through inside the jacket sleeves. I take the edge of the lining at the opening and fold it a half inch in. Then I place it right underneath the zipper teeth and I hold that in place. And on the other side I fold the fabric over underneath the zipper teeth as well and pin both sides together in place. Again, I fold the lining a half inch in and place it underneath the zipper teeth. I fold the fabric on top underneath the zipper teeth and pin both sides together in place. I continue to fold and pin both sides in place underneath the zipper teeth along the opening of the jacket. Here's what it looks like all pinned together in the front and the back. I sew a top stitch along the edge of the fabric with a straight stitch stopping a half inch underneath the neckline. This is a zipper after it's been fully installed. And here's a closer look. Again I zip it up to make sure the zipper is placed and functions properly. I grab the hood and the hood lining. I turn the hood of the jacket right side out. I line the seam at the top with the top seam of the lining and pin together in place, right sides facing in. Then I continue pinning down both sides. I sew across with a straight stitch. After both pieces are sewn together, I cut the excess fabric off the seam allowance and turn the hood right side out. Then I sew a top stitch across the front opening of the hood, making sure the lining is tucked completely underneath. Here's what it looks like after complete. I take the jacket and pin at the center point of the back neckline. I flip it over and pin the bottom seam of the hood and the center point of the back neckline together, front facing in. When that's pinned in place, I take the lining and the jacket and turn it inside out with the right side of the lining facing the other side of the hood. I take the lining and pin it at the center point of the neckline. Then I pin that center point with the seam of the hood and the center point of the neckline of the jacket together. Now I have the lining, the hood, and the jacket pinned together at the center point and I continue to pin all three layers together on both sides.
I sew across with a straight stitch. After sewing all three layers together, I turn the jacket and the lining right side out. Now I have a nice clean finish around the neckline. To finish and close the bottom of the jacket, I start and fold a half inch at the seam of the jacket and I fold a half inch at the seam of the lining and pin those two together. I continue to fold a half inch in the jacket and the lining and pin both sides together along the bottom opening of the jacket. Then I sew across the edge with a straight stitch. Here's what that looks like after it's complete. I make cuffs to finish the opening of the sleeves. To do that, I measure the length of the end of the sleeve, which for me was 5 inches. I cut two cuff pieces, double the length of the opening of the sleeve, plus 1 inch for seam allowance, which totals 11 inches in length, and I made them 3 inches wide. Next, I fold the cuff pieces over, and sew the sides down with a straight stitch. I cut the excess fabric off the seam allowance, then fold the seam over in half and continue folding around. Before attaching the cuffs, I pull the batting out from the sleeve and cut off a half inch straight across. Then I line the seam of the lining and the jacket together and pull the sleeve through the cuff, lining the raw edges at the opening. Then I pin the seams of the jacket and the lining with the seam of the cuffs together. I pin and sew around, leaving about a one inch opening. When that's done, I cut an eight inch piece of elastic and grab a safety pin and hook it onto one end of the elastic. I push the safety pin and elastic through the one inch opening of the cuff and continue to push and pull through until I get to the other side of the opening of the cuff. When I get through to the other side, I remove the safety pin and pull both ends of the elastic up and overlap the ends a half inch over each other. Then I sew them together with a zigzag stitch. After the elastic has been attached, I distribute it evenly around the cuff. When the elastic is in place, I pull the cuff back and stretch to fit to sew the one inch opening closed. Now the cuff is completely sewn closed. Here's what it looks like after it's done. I went ahead and attached the cuff on the other sleeve. Here's another look of the fully installed lining and functioning zipper. And now the jacket is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please feel free to share or ask any questions you may have in the comment section. And as always, I'll list all the materials used in the description box below. See you guys in the next one. Bye.